So we, we, we've talked a lot in the past, and you mentioned you're not doing business in China, at least you weren't at the time, because of concerns over IP protection. So as we look at these trade talks and the back and forth and negotiation, is it going in a positive direction or positive enough, you think? Oh, I think it's definitely going in a positive direction. I think the president has a lot of leverage over China. I think if the, China do, if the Chinese economy doesn't grow north of 6 percent, the government gets overthrown, and we don't face that problem. So I think the president has a lot of leverage. He's using it. It's a good thing. What's the concession that you need uh, and the guarantees to feel comfortable bringing C3 IoT, your intellectual property, to that market? We will not do business in China. So no we're, no, we're, we're involved in kind of massive scale industrial defense and intelligence, AI, and uh, we're absolutely at war with China on the AI front. China is engaged in massive state sanctioned intellectual, intellectual property theft, and we're not going to play that game. So when, the, so when the military and then on the heels of that, President Trump comes out and basically pits the China against the U.S. and they called into focus Google in that process in terms of AI, in terms of tech and the role that the military is playing in all of that, you agree? I'm not sure I understand the question. So a couple weeks ago, um, you had testimony on the Hill. Uh, the, joint, the chair of the Joint Chiefs called out Google in terms of their AI in a place like China and the fact that they're indirectly helping the Chinese military. And it caused, it caused quite a stir. But when I hear you talk about the fact that you'd never go into that market, I wonder if, if you do see it the same way. Uh, I think the idea that we have a U.S. company in Silicon Valley that is built on the shoulders of U.S. defense spending, okay, that is unwilling to cooperate with the United States Department of Defense, at the same time is willing to cooperate with China on their defense and intelligence initiatives. Candidly, I find that unconscionable. Uh, so we had Mnuchin on our air saying they've agreed on some enforcement mechanism, which would be really interesting to get details on. And now these headlines about opening up access to the cloud sector. You think we're making headway? That doesn't feel like empty rhetoric to you? Uh, I think opening up access to the Alibaba cloud, the Ali cloud, makes it that much easier for the Chinese to walk off with, you know, with, to basically to steal uh, intellectual property. So you, you don't want, you don't like that headline. I mean, you don't. I'm not sure that it's a bad thing, but I think I'm quite certain it does make it. It does make it easier for them to steal intellectual right. property. You're, it sounds like you're, you're you're not trust and verify. You're distrust and verify. I, be, I believe we're a war, and this 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 is a war that you do not want to lose. So what has happened to the mindset of the Silicon Valley tech workforce, uh, wh where we see these movements inside companies, uh, certainly in Google, move up north to Seattle, we can talk about Microsoft pockets of employees, not all employees, who have issues with doing work that benefits the U.S. government. To what degree can and should companies push back against that or define their standards so that it's clear uh, how the companies and the government work together? Oh, I think many of the leaders in information technology, uh, Larry Ellison, Jeff Bezos, um, uh, Satya uh, have stood up and said, you know, we are not going to deprive the United States government of our of our technology. And so I think most of the leaders have stood up, uh, they've looked their employees straight in the eye, they said, we are in the business of supporting governments that support democracy and individual liberty. Hard stop. Is there a line, because post, um, uh, you know, I guess revelations around the NSA and kind of what they did with technology, there was a lot of distrust that rose up in Silicon Valley around the government's intention. So is, is there something that companies need to say around where they draw the line? I think dis distrust of government <laughs> is a very healthy thing. I'm all for it. <laughs> is it. Is it your view in five years, you say we're at war, is it going to turn into a real war? Not that we're military analysts here, but... Well, um, you know, Val Vladimir Putin said in, uh, in Sochi that whoever wins the, the, the war, the, basically the battle in AI dominates the world. Okay, I think it's true, and it's not going to be Russia. Uh, and it's going to be China or the United States. I think we have a classic case here of this random free enterprise system being pit against a command and control economy. And let's hope we don't lose this. Lose this losing this is going to go to a bad place.